Okay, we are going to start day two of the Summer Semi Annual Sale. This is going to be two different stores that I didn't show you in the previous video. On the 50% off table, I seen a lot of Sea Salt Coast and Water Lily Springs. I didn't see this at the other store. They also had like the spray moisturizer to that. They also had some of their 50% off products on this display, which I thought was pretty neat. It looks so organized. Obviously, they have the sign in the corner. I contemplated getting the apple, but then when I looked at the 50% off price, I was like, mm, maybe when it goes to 75. I was looking for some new wallflowers, which I'll get into later. But for the new scents that came out for semi annual sale, I was finding those along with berry waffle cone. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. By the way, that's still going for $3.50. So I re smelled all of these and I just cannot get with them. Although they smell really nice, not cucumber melon, <laughs> but the rest of them, I just couldn't. Cherry blossom does smell stronger than the other ones, but it's still on the lighter side. For the new soaps, this is the second store. I did spot some Valentine's Day soaps that came out and they had a lot of lip glosses on the 50% off table. Not only the matte lip cream, but I was spotting some of the iced lemon pound cake one and I actually spotted a tutti frutti one from Easter. Okay, on the candle table, mind you, this is the $10.95. All of those accessories are 50% off. Will they drop? Probably, but are they going to last that long? I don't know. For the last new item that I spotted was a travel size sweet whiskey. I think this was on a 50% off table. Okay, guys, let's get into the haul. Hey, everyone. If you made it this far, this is going to be the haul part of the video and talking about some upcoming fragrances that are coming out for SAS and in the future. So for the first thing, let me show you my haul bag. Here you go. And so I did get a couple of things. Today is, what, June 2nd, and everybody got those, you know, mail-in coupons and the ones online, if you look in the wallet part of your app, where you had like a 20% off, you had a $6 lotion, and should, should have been like a free uh, body care for like $9.95, which is pretty much the travel sprays, right? So I pretty much used all three of those today because they were expiring tomorrow. So I did get a couple of things. For the couple of items, we're going to start with the semi-annual sale stuff first. For the ones that I decided to get, I decided to get the Watermelon Lemonade uh, Body Care pretty much set. So I got the Fine Fragrance Mist, the Body Cream, and the Shower Gel. I talked about this in my walkthrough video yesterday. But I feel like this smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Now, I did tell you guys that there is a difference between the scent of the candle, at least on cold, and the body care. With the candle, it's giving more off of a lemonade scent. Now, I can't speak for when it's burned because I didn't purchase it. But this, I smell a lot of watermelon in it. And it definitely smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Get the tartness of the lemon in there. And I'm going to show you the fragrance notes to this if you haven't already seen it. So that's watermelon ice, sparkling water, and sugared lemon. I'm going to spray a little bit on. Yeah, if you like watermelon Jolly Ranchers, you'll like this. And then I feel like the this is one of the few in the on the 75% off table that actually has some strength to the smell. So you can smell the lemonade. Like I said, it's a tart lemon uh, scent in there, but it's mixed with that candy watermelon scent. So I went ahead and got all three items of the body care for that. I also decided to get strawberry soda. I did mention in my walkthrough video that I did like the scent of this. And I'll go over the notes first. So it's fresh strawberries, bubbly seltzer, and crushed ice. So this definitely is a sweet strawberry. It does, like I mentioned in the walkthrough video, when it dries down, you get more of that like fizzy soda scent to it. And I love strawberries, so I ended up getting the Fine Fragrance Mist, and I got the Body Cream 
That is the packaging, pretty cute. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up sharing this with my daughter. She loves strawberry scented stuff. She loves strawberry pound cake. In her mind, nothing can beat that. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like this one. I did see comments on like different platforms where people were talking about this as a synthetic type of strawberry. I can agree to that. This isn't gonna be like a fresh produce type of strawberry, even though it's fresh strawberries is the first note. Uh, it is like a sweet candy synthetic strawberry. So overall, instead of candy, like it smells like strawberry soda. There you go. <laughs> strawberry soda smells synthetic. That's what that smells like. So I did pick that up. And then I ended up getting Sweetheart Cherry. I talked about this in like Valentine's Day videos and stuff. Um, I'm almost out of mine. I have been tearing my bottle up. I really like this one. This has notes of wild cherry, crushed pistachio, and whipped vanilla. This isn't like a true pistachio scent. I talked about this. I wear this all the time. I think the pistachio note is what dies down in this. And it just turns into like pretty much a cherry scent. Um, so yeah, I'm almost out of it. So I definitely wanted to pick this up just to, you know, restock. For the $6 lotion, I ended up getting the Bridgerton Diamond of the Season. Now I already do have some of this, but I've been using this up. I really love this. Like in the hot summer heat, it works really well. Um, here are the fragrance notes to this. So it's sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. It smells like, you know, like those Welch's sparkling drinks. It smells like if it was peach flavored. You do get a little bit of floral in there. Overall, I like this. I also have the fine fragrance mess. I did so many videos and shorts about this. Have you guys been watching Bridgerton? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Listen, if you watch Bridgerton, they stopped mid-season and I think it's re-upping on June 13th. Man, did it end on a cliffhanger. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see the rest of the season. But yeah, I had to get this one. I feel like this is great for the summer. And for my last item, which is pretty much the free body care up to $9.95, like I, I always use that for the travel sprays. I ended up getting Pink Paradise. So I still want to get the Sol de Janeiro, like the original for this. But in the meantime, this will do. Yeah, I honestly, I mean, it doesn't have the scent notes on here. It says dragon fruit and hibiscus. It smells good. I'm about to go on vacation. Maybe this is something that I can carry with me so I don't have to carry the full bottle. But yeah, I still want to get the original. All right, so that is pretty much it for my haul. Now, I do want to talk about some upcoming stuff that is coming to Bath and Body Works, some things that people spotted during SAS that I didn't see. So, for the first one, I'm going to talk about Paris Cafe Wallflower Refill. There are a lot of people that love that scent. I actually have the candle, that is like the strongest pure coffee scent <laughs> oh my goodness if you have anything in your maybe like somebody fried something like you want to knock out a scent out of your home that candle will take it out you hear me surprisingly uh my husband and my daughter actually love 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 that scent and it is pretty strong i have burned it once put the lid on and <laughs> we're right back in my collection <laughs> But anyways, people have spotted the Wallflower Refill to Paris Cafe. Like I said, if you're trying to knock out a scent or an odor that you don't like in your home, that will work really good. I haven't personally seen that in my store. All right, and next up, somebody in my comment section asked me if Paris, if Paris Amour is coming to the semi-annual sale, and somebody spotted it. <laughs> so I don't know if this was an employee or something like that. I just seen somebody posted from reddit so i don't know who the person is um i don't have reddit so and they didn't post the full clip so i just have the picture i will put it right here but 
yeah, that's coming back. I've seen a lot of people talk about it. I've never personally smelled it myself, but I'm going to go over the notes with you and you can tell me if it's the same as the original or not. So the fragrance notes are French Tulip, Apple Blossom, Sparkling Pink Champagne, Sandalwood, and Creamy Musk. It sounds like it'll be good. I can't wait to try it. Now, when is it going to hit the floor? I don't know. But I know that's another thing, uh, like another product that people have been asking for Bath & Body Works to bring back. Another one, I'm going to put it right here, is Gingham Gorgeous. Now, this was posted by Sense Galore. If you um, have Instagram, fortunately I don't. <laughs> um, Sense Galore posts, you know, updated stuff about Bath & Body Works. Um, just like I mentioned, Life Inside the Page blogspot, she has all the spoilers and stuff on there. This is something that's definitely new. I think my daughter has the one from last year. So the fragrance notes to this is Pink Strawberries, Peach Nectar, and Peony Blooms. So that should be coming to stores soon. And for the last one, um... I'm not sure. Now, Sense Galore did post this, but I originally seen this on Life Inside the Page blog spot. But the picture is right here. Um, this looks pretty interesting. I feel like when it comes to Gingham, it's like a split fan base. Some people like hate them. Some people love them. I feel like they're all right. The fragrance notes to this is Golden Nectar, Marigold Petals, and Sun Soaked Sandalwood. It sounds good. On her Instagram, she has Summer 3, which you know, like there's usually three like releases that they have per season. I don't know if this is a summer fragrance. I don't know if this is going to be a fall fragrance. I don't know, but you know that it's coming, right? Let me know in the comment section which one you are excited to see during summer semi-annual sale, if you are excited for this new gingham, and let me know what you think about my haul. I want to hear you guys hauls like that you got from Bath and Body Works. I feel like that's all that I could, you know, truly get from this new collection that dropped. Pretty much these two. Because I just wasn't feeling the $3.95 table besides those two. There's nothing wrong with Firecracker Pop. I didn't get that. Um, and the coconut the whipped coconut milkshake. I already have that from last year, so that's why I didn't pick it up. But the other stuff, I mean, I said it in yesterday's video, they were too watered down. And I've seen a lot of mixed reviews, like on different platforms of people saying like, hey, this is watered down. Um, even you guys were commenting in my comment section, like, I was like, oh shoot, my nose isn't broken. It wasn't just me. But then a lot of people said like, hey, I love that this is strong, the longevity. And I'm like, girl, where? Where? <laughs> if it works for you, that is amazing. Um, my store has plenty of them. Even in person, I was seeing mixed reviews. There were some people that were putting it in their basket and some people, like they sprayed it, smelled it, and you can see the... It was one kid <laughs> Yeah, I had to laugh. It was one lady <laughs> when I was in the mall. She sprayed it and she let her kids smell it. And the, <laughs> the boy was like, Mom, that's straight alcohol. That's straight alcohol. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, if it works for you, get what you like. It just, it didn't work for me. And so I I went over each and every product for the $3.95, you know, table the cloud nine, the cotton candy clouds one, the Tahitian, uh, the Tahiti one, the vanilla one. I went over each and every one of those products, the lotions, the creams, the sprays, and I really, ch -ch 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 -ch. I was even using my kid's hand. Let me, let me test this on you. And I will say that the body cream to the Tahiti Island dream, whatever that one is called. When my daughter put it on her, I was like, Ooh, this does smell nice. Like, I think that they smell nice. It's the longevity that bothers me because by the time we got to the car, it just was gone. Um, some of them were gone within seconds, you know, after spraying it at the $3.95 table. So I just couldn't muster the strength to buy those. But for these two, I can deal with. I can deal with Watermelon Jolly Rancher. 
I can deal with. <laughs> I know that's not the name. I'm just saying that's what it smells like to me. And the strawberry soda. I can deal with that. I can deal with those summer scents. Anyways, let me know if you picked up anything on day two. Oh, 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 oh wait, 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 wait. And let me know if you spotted uh, any of the 75% off candles at your store. My area has none. Do you hear me? None. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching, and as always, have fun, stay blessed, and happy shopping. Bye!